it's Julianne here for Trinity Stamps, celebrating with the rest of the design team the new January Crafty Hugs release. There's a blog hop going on right now, so make sure to visit all the stops and comment for a chance to win some amazing prizes. For my card today, I'm going to be creating some ink blended backgrounds using the new Heart Burst layered stencil, as well as the Bold Love die set for my sentiment. This layered stencil set has two different stencils included that have various sizes and hearts. I'm starting off with the first stencil that has the smaller hearts. I've centered it onto my card base and are ink blending spun sugar, picked raspberry, and wilted violet with the Trinity Stamps blended brushes. I started my ink blending in the center of the stencil with that spun sugar and then the middle is the picked raspberry and finally using that wilted violet on the outside. When it comes to ink blending, you want to make sure that you're continuously going back and forth between your colors to really smooth out those blended lines. I'm going to continue to blend in these last few hearts before moving on to that second stencil that has the bigger hearts that's included in this stencil set. What's so amazing about this layered stencil set is that it actually has the outline of the smaller hearts. So I was able to just line it up where I had already ink blended to make sure that those bigger hearts are right in the center. So whether you decide to ink blend the bigger hearts first or the smaller hearts like I did today, it'll be really easy to line up that second stencil. I'm going to continue that same ink blending process with the spun sugar in the middle of the stencil followed by that picked raspberry and then finally adding in that wilted violet on the outside. I'm just going to continuously move between my three colors, making sure that I really smooth out that blended line before moving on. Once I'm finally finished with all my ink blending, I'm going to remove that stencil to reveal the background that we're left with. I really love the effect of the radiating hearts it gives you. I think any color combo that you decide to use would be truly beautiful with this stencil. I actually became a little obsessed with the way it looked that I ended up creating two additional cards that I'll be sharing in this video. Before moving on to my second blended background, I did want to mention that I did clean my brushes off using a microfiber cloth. I got this cloth from one of those car washing kits from my husband. Don't tell him I took it. I find that that cloth works best for me, especially when I'm doing multiple backgrounds like I am today. I can just easily clean them off and move on to my next set of colors. But if I am finished for the night, I will end up washing my brushes with soap and water to dry overnight. It's something I prefer to do, but you can choose whatever method works best for you. I'm sure you've noticed that I have sped up this blending process quite a lot. I did this so that you guys won't have to watch a super long video of me just blending three colors back and forth. But before I turn on some music, I just want to mention the colors that I'm using for this background are Twisted Citron, Pine Needles, and Chip Sapphire.
Once I'm done ink blending, I'm going to peel back that stencil to reveal our background. This happens to be one of my favorite color combinations. Do you all have a favorite color combination that you love to ink blend? I'd love to know. Please leave them down in the comments section. I did end up skipping most of this ink blending for this third background, but I did want to mention the color combination I ended up using. I started out with that picked raspberry in the center moving on to aged mahogany and then gather twigs. I know this sounds like a really weird color combination, but you'll see it's really pretty and it does really remind me of coffee. So I think it'll be perfect for me to give to one of my many coffee loving friends that I have. So if you have someone in your life that loves coffee as much as my friends do, maybe this color combination might be perfect for you to try out. completed all of my ink blending, I'm just going to set those backgrounds off to the side to dry and start working on the rest of my card. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to show you me putting this one card together, but I wanted to let you know I did the same process for all three of my cards today. That heart die cut comes from the new Frame and Fold die set, which is part of the Sublime series offered by Trinity Stamps. And I just used that die cut to cut some corresponding colors of cardstock that I thought best went with each one of my ink blended backgrounds. And to add just a little bit of sparkle and shine, I'm just going to brush over with my Wink of Stella brush. I love the effect that this gives you. You can't really see it in the video, but in real life, it gives you just such a really pretty sparkle. From the new Bold Love die set, I'm going to be using the XOXO. I really love this die set. You not only get to cut out the letters, but you also get the outline of the letters, which I think is really nice to get that added bit of detail. I ran my die cut through my Big Shot twice, once with just some plain black cardstock, and the second time with some glitter black cardstock. And I'm just adhering them together using some liquid adhesive. Once I've adhered all my sentiments together, I'm going to start working on the rest of my card. To give my cards each some added dimension, I'm just going to be applying some foam adhesive to the back of my hearts before placing them in the center of each of my card bases. Since I wanted my XOXO sentiment to run in the middle right on top of the heart, I'm going to adhere the O and the X that are on the heart with just some liquid adhesive because I want them to lay flat. Now the X and the O that are on my background and not the heart will be adhered with some foam adhesive. So that way my sentiment is all one level. To add those finishing touches, I'm just going to scatter some clear heart sequins throughout my background. And that completes my three ink blended background cards for the January Crafty Hugs Trinity Stamps release vlog hop. Make sure to visit the next stop in the hop, which I'll have linked down below in the description, and all the other great inspiration by the design team. Thanks so much for stopping by. Happy crafting, and I'll see you next time.